Ever play the game set in a gorgeous city and get frustrated that most doors are closed and only the story areas can be explored? I certainly have. That's why I decided to build my own city that could be fully explored. One feature that I particularly wanted to implement is near-endless driving without repeating scenery. I love real-life city drives and even bus rides, and I would love to see that relaxing experience in a game. But even the largest video game cities are too small to drive for hours. Another one is being able to enter every single building on a whim and find at least something of interest there. A nice view, a cozy interior, a character to have a short chat with. Of course, there's no way to implement hundreds of thousands of completely original interiors in the game, but having somewhat realistic spaces that don't repeat seemed doable to me. Now, of course, the only way to achieve those goals would be procedural generation. There has been a lot of backlash against procedural environments lately, which made many people skeptical about them. But, in my opinion, procedural environments can be amazing if implemented right. Not as a lazy shortcut to level design, but as an art form of its own that requires as much craftsmanship and attention to detail as any other. So after two years of working on the environment, or rather the algorithm that generates it, I'm finally happy with how it's turning out. The way it works is each section of the city is generated in real time with greater detail as the player approaches. Everything is generated from a seed, so it stays the same every time, and there is the illusion of persistence. Buildings are assembled from fundamental components like wall sections, windows and roof sections. Assets like plants and furniture are mostly pre-made, some by me, some bought from the asset stores. The only exception is shelves, cabinets and other types of containers which are generated. There's still a lot of work ahead, but mostly on the gameplay. I've put a lot of effort into each of the city's spaces, the streets, the parks, the terraces, and of course the interiors. Even just the material and color palette generator took over a year of adjustments to produce interiors that range from dull but believable, to classy and exquisite, to uniquely colorful and memorable. I'm just an indie developer though, so I had to impose some limitations to achieve this. For instance, the algorithm can only work with rectangles that are aligned with the axes because rotations and non-rectangular shapes introduce more complications than I am able to handle. Also, there are only about 12 types of interiors right now, although it is fairly easy to add more as long as I have the assets for them. Although the game is far from finished, I'm trying to spread the word about it to gather early feedback and to find potential collaborators to finish it with. So, if you find my project interesting and have suggestions or questions or would like to join me, let me know.